my dear students welcome back to plus one accountancy today we will study about the statement which is prepared to test the arithmetical accuracy of books of accounts can you say which is that statement yes it is trial balance so trial balance is a statement prepared with the debit and credit balances of ledger accounts to test the arithmetical accuracy of books of accounts it is a statement which shows the balances in the accounts maintained in the ledger and cash book balances do you know when does a trial balance prepared trial balance will be prepared after balancing the ledger accounts so after preparing journal ledger and also after balancing the ledger accounts trial balance is prepared now let us learn about the features or characteristics of a trial balance the first feature it is a list of balances of ledger accounts and cash book it is a list of balances of ledger accounts and the cash book second feature it is not a part of double entry system of bookkeeping but it is a result of double entry system of bookkeeping it is only a working paper trial balance is only a working paper third feature it can be prepared on any date if the accounts are balanced after balancing the accounts it can be prepared on any date fourth feature it verifies the arithmetical correctness of the accounts fifth one it is not a conclusive proof of the accuracy of books of account since some errors are not disclosed by the trial balance so some errors few errors cannot be disclosed by the trial balance then the next feature it is helpful in preparation of trading and profit and loss account and balance sheet okay now let us learn about the objectives or functions of trial balance the first objective is to ascertain trial balance is prepared to ascertain the arithmetical accuracy of ledger accounts arithmetical correctness of the ledger accounts second objective it is to help in the preparation of final accounts or financial statements third one it is prepared to give summary of each accounts then the next objective is it is to help this uh, trial balance is prepared to help in locating the errors okay now let us let us see the format of a trial balance here you can see the format of a trial balance four columns are required for a trial balance which are they the first column is heads of accounts second one you can see ledger folio then the third column debit balance amount and the last column is credit balance amount in first column we will write the heads of each accounts okay then in the second column we will write ledger folio then the debit balance amount will be written on the third column and credit balance amount will be written in the last column okay now let us see an example of a trial balance here you can see an example okay you have already studied that all expenses account and assets account will have debit balance that is in all the expenses account and assets account the debit side will be more than the credit side that is known as debit balance if the debit side of an account is more than the credit side that is known as debit balance liabilities account capital account and revenue account will have credit balance that is in liabilities account capital account and the revenue account the credit side will be more than the debit side okay here in this example you can see that the amounts of assets account and expenses account is written on the debit amount column okay that is debtors account you can see here then fixed assets account then stock account then purchase account then return inward account wages account salary account bills receivable account and the rent account balances are written in the debit balance column you can see here okay then why why it is written on the debit balance column because these are either assets or expenses account expenses of capital account 
then uh, revenue account and one more account which is that liabilities account okay will be written on the credit side credit amount column that means the balances of capital account return inward account return outward account then bills payable account bank overdraft account and creditors account are written on the credit balance column why can you say because these accounts are either capital account or revenue account or liabilities account you can see here the total of debit balance column and the total of credit balance column will be equal okay if it is not equal we can assume that something went wrong okay we can realize that the arithmetical accuracy of accounts are not fulfilled if the both columns are not equal so dear students i think now you got an idea about the trial balance and its preparation more examples we will solve in the live session okay thanks to all